Hi, I'm Mary Jo Sontag, and these are stories from my book, Write If You Live to Get There. This is a story about daily life at the resort known as Phillips Station. It's written by Alice Bryson Lyon for the Tahoe Daily Tribune in 1975. Phillips Station was known for its grand scenery, finest of camping grounds with pastures for horses, plenty of lakes and trout fishing, no rattlesnakes nor poisonous vines, $12 a week, reductions to family. Alice says, Mother had a picture of two-year-old Louise standing in the dining room, holding a syrup picture over her head and pouring the syrup that was cascading down over her face onto a waiting tongue, enjoying it immensely. Uncle Dan always drove the wagon to do the hotel chores. We always bought 40 piglets to raise for slaughtering in the fall. We had a dairy of 20 cows. Milk pans were filled in the milk house. Each day the pans were skimmed for cream for the guests. All the skim milk was used to feed the pigs. Dan had a smokehouse to smoke hams and bacon for winter use. Dan usually had the wagon full of guests and kids who loved to ride with Uncle Dan. During the day, guests would enjoy horseback riding, fishing, swimming, hiking, and tennis. There was always a big bonfire in the evenings after supper, and there would be music and dancing for the guests. Sometimes Bade would take milk and cookies to the kids who were camping in the tents with their folks. Those first years were pretty tough. We didn't have any electricity, and our only refrigeration was by means of ice houses down on the river, which we hoped would hold through the summer. Fruits and vegetables were brought from the peddlers out of Gold Hill, Meat came out of Placerville, except for some frying chickens, and no one liked to ride to the Grove, now Camp Richardson, to pick up the order of fresh eggs and butter sent around the lake by rail and steamer from Minden. I hated those trips, Mrs. Lyon said. The steamer would drop the eggs, butter, lard, ham, and bacon off on the pier, and you couldn't let it sit there very long. So we'd go down with a horse and wagon, and it would take all day because the grade was nothing but sand, and we had to open and close about a thousand gates to get through someone's property. The resort didn't have a milkman, so a herd of about 20 head of cattle was maintained for that purpose. We had to sacrifice looks for strength. There's nothing fancy or frilly here because everything was built to stay, she said. Even me, I think sometimes.